Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is episode 13 of Coffee with Brit, except doing something a little different today. I had already had my coffee and went to the gym. I'm just running a little bit behind on my content, but I started at a certain time because I am also going to be making crack crop pot chicken, which is like a chicken bacon ranch in a crock pot, which we'll use later to make sandwiches. So um, I do have some exciting news. I got together with Southern Polished, which is a leather sandal company. They also make other products like bags, women's sandals, but they are launching their newest flip flops, which I'm super excited about because I took time to go hang out with them and make a custom pair of flip-flops and we did a YouTube video on how you make flip-flops and it was just really really cool to see how the whole process went down um, so stay tuned for that video because that will be coming out next week and I am anxious for y'all to see it it was a about four to five hour process and um, now I can say I've helped make my own pair of flip-flops, but I'll show you guys those in just a few minutes. I'm going to get out my ingredients and get started for my crock pot chicken. So for the crock pot chicken, it's actually ranch packet. So it's ranch seasoning, cream cheese, um, and then chicken breast, obviously, but this is going to take about six hours to cook. We want the chicken to where it is done and shreddable. And then it's going to sit in the crock pot for six hours with the cream cheese and the ranch seasoning mix on top of it. And then once the six hours is up and we've shredded the chicken, then I'll go back in and add cheddar cheese, bacon bits, chives, um, and then we put it on a sandwich. This stuff's really, really good. It's really good on crackers as well. So it's definitely an easy meal to make for everybody throughout the day and then you can do sandwiches, you can do it on crackers, you can eat it by itself. So it's something for everybody, but I'm excited. I haven't had it in a long time, so I figured that I would make it today. And again, with everything that I cook pretty much, I put Tony's on it. I'm obsessed with Tony's. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some Tony's to give it a little bit of a kick and then add that ranch seasoning mix to it. I did line the bottom with olive oil just so the chicken doesn't stick. And then once we put the cream cheese on top, then we'll just turn it on. And I'll start it on high for a little bit and then I'll put the temperature to low for the remainder of the time frame. Just wanna make sure that I don't burn the chicken on the bottom. Already smells good if you're a ranch fan like me you would like this recipe as well. All right guys, so super simple. I literally just added the chicken breast, cream cheese, little bit of Tony's, olive oil, and then my ranch seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up on high and put the lid on it. And literally we're just gonna wait six hours. So dinner will be ready around five. So. Here are my custom flip-flops that I got to make with Trent and Heath at Southern Polished. They are made in the USA, 100% custom to my feet. Like we didn't even have a mold. We had to create one. So can't wait to show you guys the process of these. I threw my Oli Kai's right out the door. These are way more comfortable and I absolutely love the leather, the material, the way they were created. They're super comfortable on my feet. We even did the arch support together, which was just super awesome to see how the whole process went down. It was about a four, actually it was probably like four or five hour process, but it was totally worth the wait. Cannot wait for you guys to watch how they were made. I'm gonna have a discount code. Um, once that video airs, which will be sometime next week. So if you want to grab your own pair, you'll be able to get a discount uh, through me. But other than that, thanks for joining me this morning. 
Hopefully the crock pot chicken is something that you guys will try as well. If you are interested in booking a fishing trip, our season is up and running. So I will go ahead and put that information down to hook charters below. Um, I am super excited to get back on the water, get back to fishing. I feel like it's just been like a super long winter, but uh, it is now spring and we're back to the swing of things and I'm just anxious to get back out there. Again, thank you so much for coming back to my channel and supporting me. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like to, for me to talk about in an episode of my Coffee with Britt, put those in the comments below. But don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.